Ciao everyone, I'm Rosella Rago. Welcome back to Cooking with Nonna. I'm here back in Nonna Romana's basement kitchen again. Say hello everybody. Hello everybody. And tell everybody what we're gonna cook today. I gotta cook broccoli rape, orecchiette, sarcic, e arciocchi. Anchovy. Yeah, yeah. It's very good. It's I love this good. plate. Yeah, very. Everybody love this. Everybody. So I, uh, this is a really requested video, and I've been really excited to make it for you guys. This is orecchiette mm -hmm. with broccoli rab and sausage, the Italian American style. So very, very important because there are differences. Now, in the first Cooking with Nona cookbook, we did just the plain orecchiette with broccoli rab, a little sauteed anchovy. This is the Italian-American version, and there are a few differences. Uh, the key difference, though, is that we include sausage. So uh, if you guys are familiar with the region of Puglia, this is actually the most famous dish in the entire region of Puglia, Italy, where our family is from. Uh, but in Puglia, they, and in Italy, they really don't put sausage in it or any other protein. Uh, they usually would do shrimp or something, but never really sausage. In America, they add sausage, they put a little cheese on it. It's really, really good, really decadent. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make it today. So here are the ingredients. No, no, what do we got over here? Broccoli rab. We got, we got broccoli rab. We're going to clean these. Yeah. We got a pound of Italian sausage. I got sweet Italian sausage. You can use hot Italian sausage. Mm -hmm. We have some anchovies, some red pepper flakes, some garlic. Forget about it. You, you, don't, you have to put garlic in this. And you have to put a lot of garlic. I mean, it's kind of not negotiable. Usually I tell you guys you could do whatever you want, but don't skip the garlic. And we have our orecchiette pasta. We're using the Cooking with Nonna orecchiette pasta from Puglia. This is 100% organic and comes from Puglia, Italy. And Nonna, what are we gonna do first? We gotta clean the cimentira. Yeah, I gotta clean that. Okay, yeah. show how you clean. Yeah, well, I show everybody. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're cleaning our broccoli rape. I'm gonna clean them with her. And Nonna yeah. starts by breaking off these leaves and if they're big, she breaks them in half. See? Yeah. Uh, and and this part, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna throw away? No. I this is the best one. Very good. So these I gotta clean all this uh, skin. Yeah. So the stalks, if they're if they're tough on the outside, mm -hmm. she peels them, okay? Oh, this we gotta throw away. Yeah. This we gotta Very throw good. away. We're gonna so you want to separate the florette from the stalk, and this stalk, the inside is nice and tender. So we're just going to take a knife, like the nonna knife, and we're going to peel them. Mm -hmm. This might take a lot of time. No, no, this take a long time, no? For this? Yeah, ci vuole molto tempo. Oh, the racchette they need to cook. Yeah. No, no, a pulire le, le cime di rape, ci vuole eh, molto tempo. A little time, because I, I take away all the skin there. The... Ma you gotta do. Eh, yeah, I do anything, yeah. Because it's worth it. Uh-huh, see? And then if the stalk is big, you just cut it into a smaller piece. Okay. And this, this bottom part, I cut off. And then I'm gonna start peeling it. You could you can peel them with a knife or with your fingers. Ah, uh, but the knife. Okay. That's better. Mm -hmm. If she says so, that's how you gotta do it, right? Mm -hmm. And you wanna tear these into nice bite-sized pieces. Except the florets, those all break down nicely. Is that one okay? Oh, the yeah, last stem. What about we throw this away? No. Why? Eh, why I gotta throw it? I gotta clean. Okay, mm. when I look in the dish, I'm gonna see this one. I'm gonna remember this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so this is all the stuff that we removed from the broccoli rub. This we're gonna throw away, right? This this we can throw away. This yeah. is okay. Yeah. Okay. This you've got to wash. This we're gonna wash. So the way you wash them is really simple. Nona fills up this bowl three times with cold water and then just rinses them out. So yeah. she fills it up, 
pours it out, fills it up, pours it out, fills it up, pours it out. Uh, we're gonna wash these and then we're gonna go back there and we're gonna make our orecchiette with broccoli rabe and sausage. Okay, so now we're ready to make our pasta. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sausage here, I'm gonna pour my extra virgin olive oil in the pan, not too much. And while that's getting hot, I'm gonna take my fork and I'm going to poke my, my sausage links a little bit. And this is so the fat releases into the pan. And, and I'm gonna show you guys why I do that. There's a method to my madness over here. Poke. Okay. Now once our oil's hot, I'm gonna add the sausages to the pan. And we wanna get a nice sear on them. brown the sausages on all sides. You don't, you don't want to cook them all the way through just yet. So the sausage is almost there. I want to get like this color all the way around on them and then I'll be happy. I'll be satisfied. So those little pricks that we made with the fork are really helping the fat come out and render and that's what we're going to use to cook our broccoli rub in just a minute. Okay, so now that the sausages have browned, I'm gonna turn my heat down for a second. Get rid of this. And on a different plate, I'm just gonna transfer them right here. And I'm gonna slice them. Now don't worry if they're not cooked all the way through because they're gonna go back into the pan later. So you just wanna make round slices about a quarter of an inch thick don't obsess and you see the insides are still a little raw that's okay okay so now we're just gonna let this hang out and in the pan i'm gonna turn my heat back up to medium and i'm gonna add another drop of extra virgin olive oil if the pan looks dry you add a little oil. If it doesn't, you don't have to. So once this gets nice and hot again, I'm gonna go in with my anchovies, my garlic, and my red pepper flakes. Guys, do not be afraid of the anchovies in this dish. It's so good. These are gonna melt down. So if you have someone that is not jazzed about anchovies, just lie to them. Tell them they're not in there because they're not gonna really be able to taste anchovies. They're just gonna taste like, hmm, what is that? Beautiful. This last garlic. Those in there. They're really gonna just liquefy. It's amazing. And my red pepper flake. So you want to go until the anchovies are totally broken down, the garlic's a little bit golden, and then you're going to add your broccoli rob straight to the pan. Now in the traditional Pugliese version with no sausage, you boil the pasta and the broccoli rob in the same water. And I love that method because it really breaks down the broccoli rob into a nice creamy consistency. But for this dish, I like the broccoli rob to have a little bit more bite. So we're still going to cook them. but we're going to cook them this way, and they're going to kind of toss in the pork fat. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so in with the broccoli. Rob, this might spatter a little bit. Don't worry. And don't be alarmed. These are going to cook down. And the broccoli rub is going to start to release some water. So we're going to add some salt to it to help it along. But first we're going to try and 
saute it a little bit. Make sure it gets a nice coating in all that sausage fat. So good. Grab some salt. And make sure your heat's nice and high for this part because you really want to cook the broccoli rabe. See how they kind of broke down a little bit? They kind of shrunk. That's exactly what you want. So now that it's wilted, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some water to the pan. Okay, so once you add the water, you're just going to keep your heat nice and high. And you're going to let this go for about 10 minutes. Now, if you want your broccoli rub softer, you can cover it and leave it at medium heat for 10 minutes. And that will steam them a little bit more. But I like my broccoli rub in this dish to have a little bit of bite. Okay. While the broccoli rub cooks, I'm going to cook the pasta. Okay, so now our broccoli rub is nice and cooked. The way you can tell is if it's like easily mashed with your, with your spoon. And now we're ready to add the sausage back in. So you wanna add in the sausage along with any juices that have collected on the plate. And you're gonna to toss that in. And you're just gonna cook this till the sausage is cooked through. So until it's not pink in the middle anymore. Now that it's in small pieces, it cooks pretty fast. Okay, so now our pasta is nice and al dente, and I'm gonna add it to our broccoli robin sausage. So now you want to toss this together so all the flavors get a chance to marry. You're going to taste all the beauty in the sausage, the, the bitter of the broccoli rub. I love them bitter, but that's just me. And then my secret ingredient at the very end is going to tie it all together. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off the heat. So this is an important step. And here I have some pecorino romano cheese. It's nice and salty. It's delicious. And I am going to sprinkle this all over the pasta. I'm going to let the residual heat of the pan melt the cheese in. This is so good. This is going to kind of create a sauce. So totally against the Italian rules, but I don't care. This is the Italian American style. This is what kind of separates it from the way they eat it in Italy. This is totally, I'm breaking the rules. I'm breaking all the rules right now. This is like not okay. I know all the Italian professors are going to come to me, but if liking this pasta with cheese on it is wrong, I don't want to be right. So save your breath. Okay. Look at how delicious that looks. Oh my goodness. It really makes it. And like, I love that the broccoli rabe kind of starts to break down a little bit, but they still have bite to them. Totally different than the original uh, method without sausage, right? And then that cheese just makes a gorgeous little kind of sauce. Oh my God, this is so, so good. I bet Nona wants to taste this. So we'll see you guys at the table and we're going to taste it. Okay, Nona, you ready to eat? Yeah. I can't wait, no. <laughs> it looks good, right? Yeah, they look good. This is seriously Nona's favorite dish. Nona, you like better with the sausage or with no sausage? No, I like. 
like it better if I put the sausage. Sausage? Yeah. So now you're American? No. So, so good. Okay, we got a taste now? Yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm, very good. It's like cheesy and creamy and delicious and super decadent and I love it. Mm-hmm. Very really good. Nonna, how do you think? Very really good. I love it. You're gonna eat the whole thing? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> okay, let's say goodbye to everybody so we can eat. Okay. Let's toast. Chin chin. Chin chin. Chin chin. I love you, Nonna. Say every say bye bye to everybody over there. Bye, everybody. Ciao, alla saluta. Bye, alla saluta. We'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Ciao.